Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I decided to start down at the south end of the park this morning, down in Area 1. We haven't done a walk down here. Started our walks for quite a while from down here. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Clear blue sky again. Temperatures probably around 65 degrees. Water temperatures around 69. Expecting a high up in the mid 80s today. It's gonna be a hot one today. It's hard to believe it's February with those temperatures as warm as they are. The tide's still on its way out here. Again, we're down in area one, down at the south end of the park. Here you can see the condos of Vanderbilt along here. Then further down, that group there, that's the Park Shore area of Naples. The sun still hasn't popped up over the trees yet. Still shady out here on the beach. You can see the sandbars exposed down there at the south end of the park. <clears throat> the sand is really soft along here. I sink right down in it. There's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of shells out here. Look at this, the bottom is just covered in shells. Looking forward to seeing the tide go out here. Maybe we'll find something really nice this morning. You never know. There's a conch shell over here in the water. Pretty sure it's an empty one. It looks old and worn. Yep. It's got some holes in it. The old Florida fighting conch. Still kind of hard to see. When the sun comes up, it's nice and bright and clear, but you can see how clear the water is when we get to a little sunny patch. You can see right, look at all those shells down there, wow. This area here, between the beach and the sandbar out here, this is where you find all kinds of neat little critters crawling along the bottom. Sea stars, sand dollars, Fighting conks. All kinds of neat little things. I try to wade across here, see how deep it gets. Over to the sandbar, see if there's anything out there. It's about knee deep right here where I'm at. getting up on the sandbar. It's a great view when you get out on the sandbar looking back at the beach, you get a good look at our beach. I'll turn around here, give you a look up north in a minute. Ooh, what do we got down here? Oh, I thought it was a sand dollar. Nope. False alarm. A 
The tide's still going out. I think about another half hour before the tide's fully out. There's a little baby sea star crawling along the sand. Little baby nine arm sea star. Looks like he's lost quite a few of his arms, but you can see they're starting to grow back. You see the little stubs there by my finger? A little nine arm sea star. That's a little baby, not too big. We see a lot of these little guys here at the beach. The majority of them are alive, so please do not take them home. Now this guy is alive, but I don't see his, I can't see his, oh, uh, there they go. His feet over here on the right, you can see his little feet moving around. See him over there on the right side. There they go, now they're starting to move around. Up there on the left arm up here, the little nine-arm sea star. These get pretty big, actually. We found some really large nine-arm sea stars. Every once in a while, you'll find a dried up one on the beach that you can take home. Sad, but they're beautiful. Beautiful little creatures. Put him back in the water there. That'll make him happy, make it happy. I don't know if sea stars have sexes huh that's an interesting i don't know about that if there's male and female sea stars or what eh, here's another one there's several of them up here on the sandbar oh curled up here oh no that's not a sea star i don't know what that i don't know what caused that something's under there nope i don't know what made that huh I thought there was a little sea star buried in the sand, but no. There's a seagull eating one up here. Hey, get away from those guys. <laughs> Here's another one. Look at him. You can see him crawling along the sand. Check this out. Crawling back towards the water. That is so cool. He's moving along pretty fast, actually. Watch, I'm gonna put my finger here. Give you an idea. You can see how, oh! <laughs> Poor little thing. Two steps forward and three steps backwards. Now he stopped crawling along. Oh well, I'm gonna put him back in the water too. Give you a close up look at it. This one you can really see his little, his little feet moving under his arms there. Look at him. Very cool, nine arm sea star. I'll just help him out a little bit, take him a little further out here. Set him down in the water, set it down in the water. There you go. What else do we have out here on the sandbar this morning? Well, besides a couple of seagulls, Wow, look at the size of this olive shell. This is a live olive here. I'm gonna rinse it off, get the sand off it, and you're gonna see the snail inside it. Beautiful olive shell. See if the snail comes out here. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous olive shell. You can see the one of the eyes there on the little tube there by my pinky. See it. I think he's gonna come out of his shell. There he comes. There he comes, crawling around in my hand. See him there?
That is such a beautiful shell. That's a live olive shell with the sea snail in there. I don't know what kind of snail that is. That's a pretty good look at one though. Yeah, <laughs> just crawling around in my hand there. Let's see if I can get some light on them over here. There you go. There's a great look at it. That's a live olive shell. You can find some beautiful olive shells along the shore. Is that not cool? I don't know how close I can get with this new camera. That is a great looking shell too. Of course, we can't take it home because it's got a living animal inside there. Beautiful, a live olive shell. That's a really nice specimen. I'll put it back down here on the edge of the water. Let it do its thing. Very, very, very cool. Oh, looks like, what do we got over here? Looks like our fighting conch buried down in the sand. Boy, he's buried deep. Let's see if anybody, I'm sure there's somebody home here. Well, he's really, he's pulled back, pulled way back in his shell there. They're usually pretty feisty when you pick them up. They come out and start thrashing around. This guy's not coming out here. The Florida fighting conch. Oh, what else do we have along here? An oyster shell. Uh, that looks like, uh, that was about it. The sea stars, the fighting conch, that really cool oyster, or oyster olive shell. There's a lot of area to cover here, so I'm gonna turn around and oh, there's a nice little, a smaller fighting conch, a baby fighting conch. Yeah, there's one in there. It's a smaller Florida fighting conch shell right there. Very cool. Well, we're down in area one, way down the south end of the park, out on the sandbar. Look at that, that's the beach, the Del Norwegians Pass State Park Beach, all along here, a mile of white sandy beach. This is a great view from here. We're not quite at the very end of it, the very south end, almost there. What a great view. Again, all kinds of neat things can be found in this space at this low tide at low tide between the sandbar out here and the beach. I want to back up a little further, go down a little further south and take a quick photo of the beach. Like I said, it's been a while since we've been down this far here. Then I'll head, start making my way up towards area four where our friend Roy hangs out. We'll check in with Roy, say good morning. Hopefully he's up there this morning. Those are sandpipers are here calling out. beautiful out here. Where's the dolphin? Wouldn't it be neat to see a dolphin come swimming right up next to us over here? Wow. 
Look at the blue, blue, blue sky, blue water. That water's just picking up the beautiful blues of the sky. Noisy seagulls. Well, bear with me here. The live feed's going to stop for a minute. I'm going to take a couple photos. Don't go anywhere. It's just, it just gets interrupted when I go into the still mode, the photo mode. So bear with me. Just hang tight, please. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Well, let's start walking up the beach and see what we can find. Check in with Roy. Yesterday, we were so lucky. We saw, had three dolphin sightings yesterday morning. That was just really, really cool. Keeping our fingers crossed that they'll come by again this morning. As I march up the sandbar here. There's some little fish jumping around right over here. That means something's chasing after them. See them over there? It is possible for a dolphin to come up into this shallow water. I mean, we've, I've got video. You've, I'm sure a lot, most of you have seen the video of the dolphin right along the beach, almost beaching itself, chasing the fish. That is just, that is the coolest video. That's probably like the most popular video that I've recorded so far, that dolphin encounter that Roy and I had. You gotta check it out. Here's part of a sand dollar down here, an older sand dollar. This is a dead one. This is broken up here. It's actually, when they're alive, they're a darker brown and they, they have almost like a felt covering on them. You can, but that's a nice size sand dollar. Too bad it's not in better shape. Being old like this, and I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you something inside this here. It's hard to do with one hand, so bear with me here. I hope I don't drop them. Inside of the sand dollar. Can I get one without dropping it into the water? They have, this is hard with one hand. These little, things inside called they, they look like little doves can I get one without dropping it into the water or are there any inside of this one huh I don't see any in this in this sand dollar here they look like there's one can I get it without dropping it in the water? Let's see. Right. Where did it go? It's on my thumb. Dang it. <laughs> this is very hard with one hand. See it right there? Up in the, that looks like a little dove. See it? And you find those inside the sand dollars. Please don't break open a live sand dollar to see those. See that right there? That looks like a little dove. That is so cool. I'm surprised I didn't drop it in the water. That was a feat, doing that with one, one hand and finding it. The little dove from the inside of the sand dollar. That's a pretty good look at one right there. So cool. All right, let's move on. Just never know what we're gonna find along the shore here. Actually, we're just offshore, obviously. The water's about oh, a foot and a half deep here where I'm at. Just on the outside edge of the sandbar. All kinds of 
shells buried in the sand. I love seeing the fighting conks. There's an empty shell. That'd make a nice souvenir right there. There's an empty shell buried in the sand, the Florida fighting conch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shells. There's another big sand dollar over here. Whoa, this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one. This is a dead one. When they turn white like this, they're dead. That's a nice size one. I, I don't have a, I don't have a place to keep this thing. That's a beauty there. That is a beautiful sand dollar right there. You put that on out in the sun, let it dry. It'll get a nice, beautiful bleached white. That's a great sand dollar there. I'm afraid it's gonna break if I put it in my pocket. Ooh, here's a big crab. Look at him down here. See him down there burying himself in the sand? See if I can stir him up here. Ooh, he's trying to get me. Look at him go. <laughs> he's trying to get me. Look at that guy. <laughs> Woo, up he goes. He's looking right at me there. I'm gonna make him go the other way. I'd like him to stop and get in shallower water. They don't back down. He's got those pinchers pointing right at me. <laughs> ah, that was cool. Hadn't seen, haven't seen a crab in a while. That was neat. Oh, goodness gracious. Another beautiful sand dollar. Two nice sand dollars here. Two nice size ones. Wow. Area one. We haven't been down here in a long time. Definitely worth coming. Just for this find right here. These two beautiful sand dollars. Neither one are alive. What else are we gonna find here on the beach? We seem to be having really good luck here in the little deeper water, just on the outside edge, the gulf side of the sandbar. This is area one beach all along here. Is that not beautiful this morning? The sun just coming up over the trees. It's looking south down Vanderbilt where all the condos are. Big difference. You know, Vanderbilt Beach is beautiful. All of our beaches are beautiful. You know, they rake the beaches with equipment and things the county and the city do. But here at the state park, look at the difference as I pan back around. No condos, no homes on the beach. This beach is left in its natural state. Absolutely beautiful. I love this park. This is my kind of beach here. I actually live closer to Vanderbilt Beach, but I choose to come here instead. I love these two sand dollars. I need a free hand though. I can't, if I put them in my pocket, they're gonna break. I'm gonna see if I can find somebody to keep an eye on them on the beach here for me. I need a free hand to explore whatever we happen to come across here. I hope I make it up to Roy. It's quite a ways up there. 
but we just got so much so many things to look at here so much beach so much ground to cover now it looks like the tide's coming in looks like it's on its way in here now the sandbar that was exposed here is covered up now Cut back across to the beach. I hate taking the time to do this on the beach walk, but I'm going to put these two sand dollars in my car. I don't want them to break. They're great little, great little souvenirs. Beautiful specimens right there. And they're not alive, so uh, so I can take them home. A lot of times when you find them this size, they're alive. These are have been around a while. So I'm not too far from my car here. I'm going to scoot out to the parking lot. But you know what? That'll give everybody a chance to see the facilities, some of the facilities here at the park. People out here shelling already this morning. Beating me to all the good shells along the beach. I'm gonna, this is, this is the first access point in parking lot one. That nice new, that nice ramp there. They've actually got beach wheelchairs for anybody that needs a wheelchair to get out onto the beach. They keep them underneath the bathhouses locked up, so you need to tell the ranger at the front gate at the ranger station if you need a beach wheelchair. Let them know. This is parking lot one. That's the bathhouse. There's five of these at the park. They keep them nice and clean. Great restrooms. And then there's Fresh water showers by the bathhouses. It's always nice to take a shower after you get out of the Gulf. Here I am over by my little car here. I'm gonna put these two sand dollars inside. Bear with me here. Sit them on the seat here. Hopefully they won't stink up my car. <laughs> In they go. Always keep my towel on the seat there. All right, back out to the beach. A little detour there. Sorry about that. I definitely didn't want to break those. If I put them in my pocket, and as soon as I bent over, those sand dollars would have busted for sure. Here, come on, walk with me. Let's walk up, help the boardwalk here out to the beach. Another picture perfect Sunday morning in Naples, Florida. Roy's quite a ways up there. This is area one. Already saw some neat things this morning. The sea stars. That beautiful, beautiful olive shell. That was so neat. The live olive shell with the snail inside. That was so cool, wasn't it? You'll have to check the replay. If you missed it. And I'll post a higher quality version of this video on YouTube. Provided everything works well, everything goes as planned. 
I'm at the mercy of technology here always. But I think that's gonna work out great with this new phone. I have enough storage space on it to download a higher quality copy of this beach walk before I save it to Facebook. So I can download it and then post that on YouTube and share the link with everybody. You can see I did that with yesterday's beach walk. You know, if you're watching those videos of mine on YouTube, check out my videos on YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel. The videos are obviously better quality on YouTube than on Facebook. If you see an ad, it pops up, a sponsor or something, and if it looks interesting, click on it. Make a little money when people do that. Don't overclick. Don't click to be kind. But if you see something that's interesting, give it a click. I mean, it's... Well, it's not even maybe a penny if you click on it for me, but it adds up. It helps pay the phone bill. Nobody pays me to come out here, as you know. I just do this on my own accord. It's getting pretty deep here. So over my knees here, the water now. I'm gonna, the sandbar is further out offshore. I'm gonna get back up on the beach. Whoa, there's a deep hole. Get back up on shore. Walk the shoreline for a little while. This is where our friend Bill finds his shark's teeth. Right along this ridge line. See this ridge line down here? Boy, he found some nice shark's teeth. He found a big one the day before yesterday. You see how clear it is? Right along that ridge there, that's where things get caught up. See this ridge, it's kind of hard to see with the waves. What the heck is that down there? sponge or something floating around. I don't know what that is. Whatever it was, I didn't want to reach down and grab it. <laughs> Boy, the sand is very soft here. Just sink right down in it. We're up in area two now. All these little shells, again like yesterday, all along the shoreline. When we get up into area four, we start shelling there, taking a look. It's beautiful out here this morning. People already starting to show up. There's some white ibis up here ahead of me. Three white ibis. They're always fun to watch. Got those big long beaks. Probing in the sand, looking for sand fleas and coquinas. See if I can get a little closer. Always walk around the birds here at the beach. Give all the wildlife its space. Don't feed any of the wildlife, birds, raccoons. 
dolphins. No matter how cute those dolphins are, please don't try to get next to them and touch them. They are wild animals. They can take your finger off in the blink of an eye. Maybe not on purpose. There's a great look at an ibis. You find these all over Southwest Florida, not just at the beaches. You find them in your front yard, doing the same thing, looking for grubs and worms. Let me get out of the zoom mode here. You have to look at my ugly face for a second. Beautiful morning, look at that. Folks walking up the beach. put the battery to the test on this new phone this morning see how far we get up there gosh I'd love to be out on the sandbar out there and see where the waves are breaking out there it's a big seagull see that's a laughing gull beautiful look at that water isn't that gorgeous out here this morning Temperatures rising steadily here this morning. Probably already getting close to 70. Highs are going to be up in the mid 80s today. Just rebuilt this boardwalk not too long ago. Just finished rebuilding it. That got destroyed by Hurricane Irma. This is the north end of Area 2. They really did a nice job rebuilding that. Great access point at the north end of Area 2. North end of Parking Lot 2 That's where you'll find that. Always remember to look up. Everybody's so focused on finding shells and they forget to look up in the trees. A lot of times you See some ospreys up there, pelicans nesting. Bald eagles have actually been spotted here on occasion. We got a little bit of everything here at Del Norwegens. Look how beautiful this water is. Look how nice and clear it is. Look at those reflections, isn't that gorgeous? So inviting, 69 degrees, maybe even a little warmer. That's the water temp, 69. Probably about the same in the air right now, 69, 70. It's warming up fast here. That is so beautiful. It's clear blue skies. Look at this, I'm gonna zoom in here, see if we can see it. Yeah, you can see the condos all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. That is incredible. How beautiful of a morning is this? Beautiful clear blue skies. That's the mile long beach at Del Norwegens right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Get 
back into the wide, the wide mode. Our little paradise here in North Naples. God's Country Club, right here. Our mayor of our country club here, of course, is Mr. The famous Captain Roy T. Hazy. We'll be checking in with him in a few minutes. He's the mayor of Wiggins. <laughs> I had a great conversation with him yesterday. There's something swimming around right here, a little shark, I think. Or a snook, maybe. That saw me. Darn it. Might have been a little tarpon. I just saw a fin sticking up out of the water. Could have been a little tarpon, a little snook. Could have been a little shark. We have little sharks that swim along the shore here. Nothing to worry about. Over here, let's see if I can zoom in. Maybe you can see them. There's some sheep's heads swimming around, those striped fish. I don't know if you can see them. They're right on the edge of the shadows. Ah, they bolted out of here now. They spook pretty easy. There's all kinds of neat fish swimming along the shore here. They're not gonna bother you, believe me. They move away when you're out there. Nothing to be afraid of. seeing any interesting shells yet along here. Area 4 was really good yesterday for shelling. It's really shallow out here right now. I think we're right in between tides. That low tide. High tide just starting. The tide just starting to come back in. A lot of rocks along the beach here. This is area three. A lot of big rocks on the shore. Still beautiful. Just a little hard to walk in bare feet. Here's somebody with a dog out here. You're not allowed to bring dogs out on the beach. Be familiarize yourself with the rules here of the park. No dogs on the beach. You can bring your dog to the park, but they're just not allowed on the beach. They have to stay behind the dunes, which is up in the trees up there. No matter how cute those pups are, they're not supposed to be out here. Little Westy. Very similar to our dogs. The Weston, the Westy. We have three Karen Terriers. These are the dogs from the movie Wizard of Oz. Toto. Cute little rascals, smart as can be too. They can be very stubborn. They're little dogs with big teeth. They were actually originally br bred to chase rats, to kill rats. Get them out of the rock piles. The Cairns, that's what they're called, Cairn Terriers. Well, get out on the sandbar up here. I see a lot of sandbar exposed just north of me here. Still in area three, getting ready to cross over into area four. Let me give you a look around behind me here at the beach, get up a little higher. Boy, there is a lot of rocks on the beach here in area three. Look at them all. It's kind of hard to walk here. I'm gonna get higher. Beautiful shells out here though. I mean, 
everywhere you look. You can always find something beautiful. You find these little things everywhere. We started down in area one this morning. Making my way up to the north end, up to where Roy is. Roy's actually where those trees are right there. Give you a look out into the gulf. Pan around here. Lots of people out here already walking the beach. Beautiful morning. We started way down there in area one this morning. Yesterday and the day before, they wound up having to close the park. There were so many people here. Yesterday, by 10 o'clock, the park was full, no more parking. So if you're thinking of coming to the beach, get out here now. Now is the time. You can watch the rest of this video later at your leisure. But if you wanna to come to Del Norwegans or any beach in Naples, I'd suggest you get out there right now. This is a pristine day, ideal beach weather. Let's cut over to this sandbar. See if we can find anything interesting out there. Right now we're in between areas uh, three and four. Again, these little areas between the sandbar and the beach, these are what where lots of neat things, shells and things get trapped in the changing tides. So it's a good place to walk, walk slow. And a lot of the shells are almost buried. You'll just see a tip of something sticking up. So you really gotta keep your eyes open. Oh, here's a sea star. There's Bill. Look at that. Here's Bill over here. How are you? Any luck to get this morning? No, but I found a real old one late, late yesterday. Just An old tooth yesterday? Yeah, I was ready to leave yesterday. Oh, wow. That is an old one. That's really old. That is a... Wow. That's been there That's a shark's a... tooth, folks. and That's been there a long time. Our friend Bill has a really good eye, and he finds these all over the beach. That's a real old thing. He's got thousands of them now. <laughs> We're building Roy a set of new teeth out of these. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you up the beach. I'll be up there. I'm looking and hoping to see those dolphins again today. Oh man, there was lots yesterday. Yesterday they were everywhere, weren't they? Man, the babies. Ones, the, ones. Yeah, wasn't that something? They were everywhere yesterday. Yeah, hopefully we'll see them this morning before my battery dies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a little nine-arm sea star. I think we saw this guy yesterday when Jennifer and Roy were out here. He's missing a lot of his arms. Poor little guy. Definitely alive though. See his little feet moving all around here. Look at those feet going to town, man. This guy's really active. You know that when their legs break off, their arms break off, that's because something grabbed a hold of it, and that's a defensive mechanism. They'll grow back. It doesn't kill them. I don't know if it hurts. I wouldn't want anybody ripping one of my arms off. But I think I see something crawling along the bottom over here. Nope, just a leaf. A leaf moving around in the current down there. But check out this little sea star. I'm going to put him in the water here. He was up on the edge of the sandbar. Look at how active he is. Look at those little... Feet going to town. Wow. <laughs> they tickle. It kind of tickles my hand. Very cool. Again, back in the water. It's alive. What do we have down here? Anything? There we go. There's a live 
moon shell or shark eye with a nutmeg shell with two hermit crabs inside them fighting with each other. You come around and spin around this way. That's a nutmeg shell there and a shark eye or a moon shell right there. Both with a hermit crab and both with the hermit crab, the moon shell, the nutmeg, two hermit crabs fighting, I'm guessing. Mating? I don't know. Those moon shells, shark eyes are my favorites. That one's pretty dirty. That need to be cleaned up. But anyway, it's got a little hermit crab in it, so we can't take it anyway. Let's put them, let them go back to their fighting down here. Put them back by the sea star. Let them do whatever they were doing. See if we can see them in the water. I'm gonna try to zoom in on them. Whoa, look at them go. Ha! Dragging each other around there. Off they go. Ha! That was different. Wow. Like I said, you never know what we're gonna see here on the beach. Fighting conks are all over all over the place. Here's one here. They're all over this sandbar. The live fighting conks. Beautiful shells. You can find a lot of these empty shells on the beach that you can take home as a souvenir. We don't want to take these home. They got the little live conch in there. You can see his little eyes there, those little tubes. The two little tubes with his eyes on the end. Try to get the light on him there. There you go, you can see his eyes. His mouth is just underneath those two eyes. Is he gonna come out and say good morning? Or is he gonna, a lot of times they try to poke you with this little foot. Come on out and say good morning, buddy. Yeah, probably too early. Still sleeping. Put him back in the water. There's a baby. There's a baby conch. Let's see if there's anything in there. Yep, there's one in there too. There's a little baby Florida fighting conch. It's a beautiful little shell. Look at the patterns on that. Beautiful, isn't that beautiful? It has a nice looking shell right there. See how small it is. Something else over here. Yeah. We'll just keep walking along this beautiful Sunday morning in paradise. Maybe I'll find another nice olive shell like we found earlier. Is there a little crab down here? There's all kinds of shells buried in the sand. Nope, I thought I saw a little crab running around, but no. Lots and lots of conks. These little bumps in the sand. That's a conch right there. There's another little baby conch right down here. I love finding these empty shells when they're empty. These are my favorites to collect. They're so pretty. The baby Florida fighting conch. There's one, there's what's left of one. Look at that. You kind of see the inside of the conch. Isn't that neat? They call these twisties. It's the inside of the Florida fighting conch shell. Boy, they're everywhere. They're all over. These are all these little bumps here in the sand or conks over here. There's one. There's two more over here. There's a bunch of them up there. All live. All the live. There's a big nine arm sea star. Let's see if he's got his arms. There's a big one crawling along the beach here. Let's see if he's got all nine arms. I think so. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Bear with me for one second. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. But look at that guy, isn't that beautiful? 
Let's rinse the sand off of them. I'll give you a better look at them. And then I'll set them back in the water. There you go, this guy's got all his arms. Look at that, the nine-armed sea star. That's a beautiful specimen right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Remember, don't take any of these live animals home. The nine-armed sea star. Heck, what a great look. He's moving around in my hand. I can feel him crawling around. Wrapping around my fingers. That is so cool. I'm going to turn him over. Let you see his underside. Let you see the undercarriage. They eat and poop out of the same hole there. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. But there you can see his little feet. Look at him wiggling around. I don't know if these have sexes. I was saying that earlier in our beach walk. I don't know if there's a male sea star and a female, or I don't know how they reproduce. See lots of little baby ones here. I actually had a photograph of one that was pregnant. That was pretty neat. But that's a great specimen right there. The nine-armed sea star. Wanna, wanna see it? <laughs> Just put it back in the water after you look at it. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a awesome. nine-armed sea star. You find a lot of those here. You do? Yeah. Find ones with five arms and nine arms. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. You know, the, the slower you walk along the beach, the more things you're going to find out here. I bet. Yeah. Especially right now, right? Low yep. Tide. Oh, yeah. Low tide is the best time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Turn him over and you can see his little feet moving around. <laughs> oh, it's always fun sharing with people, especially kids. I love to see the look on kids' faces when they find something here at the beach. Look at all the little sandpipers out here on the sandbar. Well, we're almost up to Captain Roy. I see his chair. Yeah, he's up there. He sits up by those pine trees up there. Look at this low tide this morning, boy. I did find two awesome sand dollars earlier this morning. You can see those in the replay of the video. I put those out in my car this morning. I did not want to put them in my pocket and risk breaking them. Two nice sand dollars. I'd say they were large size, not extra large, but large. What do we have over here? I see the something, no, oh, it's just a rock. Oh, an old, old, look at that old seashell. Wow. That is, look at that. That is really cool looking. Look at all the stuff growing inside it. That is so neat. Remember, later today, I'm gonna to upload a higher resolution version of this video to YouTube and share the link on Facebook. So you can see, get a little better quality video. Not much better, but better than a live feed video. I keep that. That is just cool looking. That is very cool. Lots of people out here shelling. Low tide here. Perfect time to find some little treasures out here in the water. Water's just over my ankles here. Yeah, 
know, I say the sea stars are common. I'm not kidding. There's one crawling along the bottom. He's moving at a pretty good little pace too. See him down there? He's moving pretty fast. Whoa. The waves just knocked him back a little bit. The nine arm sea star. Look, but please don't take them home. Be gentle too if you pick them up. Don't break their arms off. I gotta take a picture of that. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here. I'm gonna take a picture. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Being an iPhone, I can either be in the video mode or the photo mode. I can't do both at the same time. Sorry. Thanks for sticking with me. The nine arm sea star. We had a great beach walk yesterday morning. If you're new to these beach walks, you got to check yesterday's out. Saturdays. In the summertime, I come out here more frequently just because business is a little slower here in the summer. In the winter months, during our season down here, I tend to come out here more on the weekends. I try to come out at least once during the week, but it doesn't always happen. This is the best, best place to find really neat little sea critters, sea creatures. It's just offshore of the beach. Just a picture perfect day. How are you? Isn't it beautiful out here? This is what we call a chamber of commerce. This is what, this is why everybody comes here. Oh yeah, and that I'm waiting for the dolphins. They'll be by. Oh yeah. Yep, you got that right. <laughs> oh yeah. This is would be an ideal morning to see a dolphin. So flat. Love to see one come in close to shore. paddle border going out those dolphins they get curious about the pet about the paddle boards sometimes the paddle boarders will actually attract the dolphins the kayakers and the paddle boards and that look relaxing is that not paradise I'm gonna snap a photo bear with me stay here Ooh, I almost lost the live feed. I'm back. Sorry about that. That was a close call. There's Roy up there under the red umbrella. He's got company this morning. But I think we got to go check in with Roy and see how he's doing. A lot of times when we're chatting with Roy, a dolphin will come by. Yesterday we got him to play his harmonica for us. That was fun. Didn't work very well when he first started tooting on it. It was full of sand. But all along, the shoreline here is where we were finding some really cool shells yesterday. Here's some, here's some more nice ones right down here. Look at that. It's part of a worm shell there. Little cockle shell. Just scallop right next to us here. All kinds of neat little shells. The more you look, the more you're going to find. Ooh, there's a nice worm shell right there. Look at these beautiful little shells. 
Great little specimens. I'm gonna keep that worm shell. That's a nice worm shell right there. I gotta, I think I'm stuck in the zoom mode here. Let me back out a little bit. Hang on a sec. I don't know. Now let's walk along, see what else we find here. And I'll come back and check in with Roy. What's up, Roy? Hey, Rob, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing this morning? So it looks like you're having a good old time over here this morning without me. Shame on you. Just telling me jokes in the morning. Oh. I've been telling him. Are they G-rated? Absolutely not. Ah, okay. I'm going to walk up the beach a little further. Then we'll come back and have our chat. All right. Maybe you can tell us a G-rated joke. Uh, all right. Hey, another sea star here on the beach. Right out in front of Roy. Look at him, he's making his way down to the beach, down to the water. See him crawling along there? Look at that shell, and you'll see. You can tell how he's moving by the distance he's gonna get from that shell. If the waves don't wash him back up on shore. See him crawling along there? That is so cool. He's crawling back to the water. And he'll be there in just a couple seconds. But when he started, he was all the way over here by that shell. So they actually moved pretty fast. all those little feet going at it there look at them all under there look at all those little feet that is really really neat isn't that cool the nine arm sea star they are so cool there he's missed he's growing another arm back there isn't that cool beautiful I'll take care of it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You got to know it all here behind me. But that is a beautiful specimen there. A beautiful. You don't have to put these back in the water. They can survive quite a while out of the water, but it's always nice just to keep people from picking them up and taking them home as souvenirs. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's keep looking in these little shells and see what we find here this morning. Yesterday we found a lot of little shark eyes. Here's a little baby horse conch. Look at that. That is a little baby horse conch shell right there. These things can get Oh, two feet in size. That's a little baby horse conch right there. Lots of worm tips. Here's a worm tip here. Oh, look at this. When I say you find small shells, look at that little conch right there. Look at that little tiny baby conch shell. That is incredible. That's a baby conch right there. Is it fully formed? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And that's a little horse conch right there. Uh -huh. Are you taking these? Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Just asking. Yep. <laughs> these, these are so neat, these worm tips. Yeah. Every once in a while you'll find a real long one. Yeah. I've Somebody got... living in it? <laughs> no. I, you know, and everybody asks what makes those, and I don't know what makes those. 
but you can find them. I found them a, a foot long. Really? But see how yeah, this one this one has a piece of the shell on oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Yep, sometimes you can find really long ones. Yeah. But people never, never stop and look at these little shells. I mean, it's it's just amazing. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at there. There's a little banded tulip. Yeah, perfect. It's like this is their little meeting place. Yep, and it, it's all along, right around yeah. here in area four and five where you find them. That's a nice little find. Is that a nice one? That is a very nice tulip. Good luck. Okay, <laughs> you do it. Hey. Yep. There's a little shark eye right here. Yeah. A little moon shell. Lots of those. Look at that. A lot of times you'll find it with the blue eye, the Paul Newman, they call that. There's a nutmeg shell, a nice little nutmeg. Oh, it's missing the backside of it. That's a nutmeg shell. Find all kinds of little goodies right here. This is right down by Roy. And again, they're all, they're all small. Move down, move up the beach a little ways. See some fish jumping out of the water. It usually means, yep, could be a dolphin chasing them up here. Very, very, yep. Very good chance there's a dolphin up ahead. Those fish are jumping like crazy. I am. Hi, how are you? Sue from upstate New York. Oh, Sue, how are you? Nice Good to meet you. I'm, I see the fish jumping like crazy yeah, up the here. Are oh, boy. The dolphins are up here feeding, up here ahead of me. I can see, see the water rippling. I think there's one right offshore here. Hey, the dolphins? I believe there's one right out here. Come on guys, where'd you go? The fish are just jumping like nuts out here. See the fish jumping out of the water right here in front of me? There's a dolphin right here chasing him. Where is he? There's one out there. Well, there's, there's a dolphin. It's gotta be a dolphin chasing him. There's one, yep. I have not seen the dolphin surface, but the fish are jumping out of the water like crazy. So they're definitely out here chasing them around. Over in this area right here, I see the water swirling around. If you look close, you'll see the fish jump right out here. Where are those guys? Look at the fish, just see them all jumping? The mullet's jumping out of the water. These are mullet. See them? Look at all the mullet swimming around here. Wow, there's just tons of them. I haven't seen a dolphin though. But watch, you gotta see them jump out of the water here. Just hold the camera steady. It'll happen. These are mullet. Come on guys, jump. They were jumping like crazy a little while ago. They're all just offshore in about two and a half feet of water. They're definitely jumping over here. Let's see if they'll jump for us. Come on, somebody jump. There was one, did you see it? Let's see if he jumps again. There, oh. That's so neat. I'm not sure where the dolphins are. They're usually 
I don't know, they'll just play with these fish. A lot of times they'll play with them. They'll catch them, toss them up in the air. Lots of mullet offshore today. Let's see if we can see one more jump up close here. They're just below the surface. I mean, the water is full of them here in front of me. See him jumping back there? Wow. Very cool. Well, let's check out a few more shells here, and then we'll go back and chat with Roy. See if we find any little treasures. Already found some great little shells. It's been a great beach walk again this morning. Haven't seen any dolphins yet, but it's still been a great beach walk. Checking out the nine armed sea stars. There's a turkey wing shell. Pretty easy to understand why that would be called a turkey wing, huh? And look at that. Remember I said, keep your eyes open, keep them peeled. You see that right there? A little shark eye. Look at that, a little baby shark eye. Just incredible. The small shells that you can find here. You can find big ones too but people just skip right by all the little treasures. Look at that beauty right there, that little tiny scallop. Wow. Is that not beautiful? A beautiful pinkish rose red. People are really thrilled watching these fish jumping out of the water here. Yeah. What else? Cup, just another minute or two of shelling, then we gotta get back and chat with Roy. Roy has always got something good to say. Always have a great inspirational conversation with our buddy Roy. Here's a little conch shell. Another little baby conch. There's a dolphin out there. There's two dolphins out here. Right straight out here. See if he comes up again. Keep your eyes peeled. There's three more behind it. Darn it. They're pretty far out. See him out there? I hope you can see him surfacing out there. There's three out there. I hope you can see him. And there's a big one right over here. I think that's the dad up front. And then behind is the mama and baby. There was the baby just kind of surfaced over there. One was coming in a little closer, maybe. Saw the fish jump. See him back there? Can you see? I hope you can see him in the distance. They're on the other side of the sandbar. Making their way south down the beach. Sometimes they'll turn around and come in and chase the fish right up to the shore. You can just see their fin coming up out of the water out there. See them out there? You saw two of them come up. It's hard to zoom with this camera. But they're out there, I swear. There's three dolphin. I think it's the mama and the baby. They just came up there. And the dad. That is so cool. We're so fortunate to be able to come out and watch things like this. Wish I could get you closer. There's the mama and the baby. They might come in a little closer. We 
or just go. I see him right out there. You see the water swirling around. There was dad's fin. Ooh, there they go, chasing a fish. Did you see the splash out there? I'm just kind of circling around in that same area. Now it looks like they're heading back up the beach. Unless they're gonna come in close to shore. Sometimes they do that. One quick swoop into shore. Well, now they're they're all the way over here. That is so cool. They're chasing the fish around. See those waves out there? Saw one surface back there. I wish they'd come in and say good morning. That's our little dolphin family out there. That is so sweet. Just can't get any closer. They're out there, trust me. Looks like they're swimming further out now. See them jumping around? I hope you can see them. I gotta get down to Roy. Time is running out here. Getting low on the batteries. Get out of this zoom mode. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. Pelicans flying by. I'm gonna ask everybody to bear with me here for one minute. I got an important text message that came in. Let me see if I can get to it. If by chance we get disconnected, hey, thanks for watching, but stay tuned. I'm gonna get up in the shade where I can see my screen. It's so nice to be able to see the dolphins. Good morning, the dolphins in the morning. I hope I don't get disconnected when I check a text message. So here, bear with me, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back, ha, ah, it works. Thank goodness. Oh, here's some of our friends. Good morning, how are you? Such beautiful people out here on the beach. Beautiful people, beautiful weather. And now we're gonna have a Beautiful conversation with Roy. He is the highlight of every beach walk. Let's see if this lady found anything else. Did you find any more nice ones? Um, uh, this one. <laughs> that tulip shell was beautiful. Know, that was a nice little a find. Bunch of them. I think this is really adorable. Oh, the, the tip, on. the top of the tulip. Oh no. I think they're supposed to be like that. It's not a true tulip. No, that's the that's a broken. That's the tip. See how it's chipped? But that's I, the tip of a big tulip. Wow. But it's neat that you can look inside it. But this is the colors are. So oh, they're beautiful. So I'll let you talk to you. Oh, well, here. Now you can keep it. Everybody saw it. They love it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Good luck. The dolphins are putting a good show on up there. Hi. You know it's really fun and I don't know how long they're doing. They're doing yoga. The yoga down there, yep, in area one. Paddle boards have been Oh, they're closer here, yeah. It's gonna take a lot of balance. Oh, it is, it's something. That's where I started, down at that end. Okay. See you later. Look at the color of this water. Is that not beautiful? The color of the sky, the water, kids out there playing in the water. This is our neighbor. Chamber of Commerce Day. Look at how clear that water is. Well, let's go catch Roy. See what he's got to say this morning. I think he might have some jokes for us. We might get some jokes this morning. Might be a different kind of conversation this morning. He's right up here under the pine trees by the 
osprey nest. You can see the osprey nest. I'm looking right into the sun. I can't even see the screen here. Try to come around. The osprey nest is right up in here in the tree there. Right up here. I think right up in there. See it right up there? A mating pair of osprey up at the north end of Area 4. This is where he found all those cool little shells earlier. Right down along the water line. Some really, really nice little finds if you look close. I mean, there's, I always tell people to take your time when you're shelling. Look, see, there's a little baby olive shell. Hey, early in the beach walk, we saw a nice big live olive shell. It had the snail in it. That was really cool. There's a little tiny olive shell. Worm tips everywhere. These worm tips, look at them, they're everywhere. Everywhere you look, wormy tips. Look at all of them, they're so cool. The tide is definitely starting to come in now, so it's gonna be washing all these shells out. Doesn't take much to wash these little ones out. Another little shark eye. Another shark eye. Shark eye? Look at that. That's the name of the shell. Uh, See, because it has that eye on it. Uh -huh. They call it a shark eye. Kids thought I found some shark eyes out here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, just right next to each other. That one's a little worn, but still a nice shell. Other common shells here. You find a lot of these over here, these mossy arcs that are everywhere. The mossy arc, that one has a big hole in it. The mossy arc. There's another one, just standing here talking, just washed up at my feet in the waves. Other common shells here are the scallops. All different colors, sizes. Corals, here's a little piece of finger coral. Another nice worm tip right there. We'll keep that one, that's a nice one. Nice worm tip. Well, I gotta get on with the conversation here with Roy. Battery's getting low. There he is. You can always find Roy with the with the pretty ladies. Hey Rob. Lori from Toronto. Yeah, how are you doing, Lori? Yeah, absolutely. Everything's great here. Hi Rob. So what's new, Daddy O? Oh, everything's new. Everything is glorious and wonderful. Do this. Yeah. Wipe your mouth. You got you got suntan lotion no. on or something? Yeah, it's his lips. Oh I got my lip balm. Oh lip I balm or something. I don't know what yeah. happened to my lip. Oh, I miss having Jennifer's chair to sit in. Here, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. all right. Oh, it's all right. I'll, I'll, you just have to help me up. <laughs> I get stuck when I squat down like this. <laughs> You're not the only one. There's our friend Lori from Toronto again. You're not the only one. We all get stuck. Oh, yeah, the bones get creaky, you know. <laughs> the dolphins were putting quite a show on. Up the beach there, yeah, the whole family. Yeah, yeah. I saw one this the morning. The whole family. One. You, you had a family. Oh, was yeah. another one? Mom and dad and the baby were up no there. No kidding. There's fish jumping out of the water like crazy oh, up great. there. Mullets jumping all over. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so earlier when I was walking by, you were telling jokes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was telling jokes? Oh, we had some pretty good jokes. You got, a, you got a joke for us that we can share? Well, these were just a little bit off color. I don't oh. think I should share them. <laughs> you can share just, one of them, you can. Just a teeny bit. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh Roy. The kite Which bad. one? You, you Can you share it with us? I can't tell. Like You're that. not a joke teller? I can't oh, tell Lord. Like now we got, well, everybody's here in suspense. Yeah. Like, uh. That one's not bad. No, no. no. Nothing off okay. color for, this, for his uh, audience. <laughs> <laughs> They're all adults. Well, most of them. Well, <laughs> They're adults in age. I don't. I don't know if they act like adults. <laughs> I know I don't. 
All I know is that the life is glorious, and Isn't it's it, good to have a good time in life and tell a few funny stories and have some big laughs. And Isn't what that the, heck. the truth? Yeah. I'll tell you what. With good friends. Yeah, with good friends. You know, the That's good jokes, talents. the good times with the good friends. Uh-huh. And I'm assuming the way you met was through Facebook, right, That's Lori? Right. From, from right, right here. Right yep. there. Yeah, yep. Right there. Right that there. is so. That huh? is so cool. I mean, I just, we have, I just talked to Lori's husband way back in uh, up in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I confided in him that I snuck a hug from his beautiful bride. I can't blame you. He's, he's real <laughs> incensed. He's going to call the sheriff and have me uh, indicted or well, something. Well, we'll get that on Facebook when they show up no, he here. Said, Take as many as you want. Uh, <laughs> oh, did you get a picture? Did you? What? I'll get. I'll definitely have to get a picture of it. Yeah. For evidence. <laughs> I think yeah. he said, "Have as many as you want." Oh, well, he's a very <laughs> good, he's very he's generous, a, he's a generous him. husband. <laughs> I told him he was a lucky guy to get hugs from that beautiful girl. Yeah, I guess he is. <laughs> Boy, everybody liked our video from yesterday. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We covered a lot of territory oh. yesterday yeah, in our I think we did. little conversation. Yeah. Everything from yeah, we did religion to. Oh, Good yeah. things and we bad solved things. Solved all the problems in life, I think. I hope so. Yeah. We even talked about aliens, Martians. <laughs> <laughs> Martians. <yeah>. Yep. <laughs> no, that's I mean, right. We did. <laughs> we never know where our conversations are going to go. You know, I think I forgot to mention if the Martians do la land here, we'd have to put them in quarantine. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, I think they'd be thrown in jail because they'd be illegal aliens. That's right. Their passport would yep. be expired. They won't have the right papers, so that's they'll wind right. up in jail. Yeah, no passport. And yeah, yeah, that's right. But then, but then again, you never know. You know, we're a they country... We're a country with open arms here, right? <laughs> what happens if they come and they fit in perfectly? We what if they look know. like us? Yeah, we don't even know who they what are. What if they're already here? That's true. You know? Don't even think about You're that. right. They could be posing as human beings. Exactly. Or they could be what, they, what they call those shapeshifters. They can look like anything they want. That's right. Then they could carry back our info to their to their planet. I don't think they want our info. <laughs> I think we probably want theirs. There's, yes, they're probably a lot more <laughs> yeah. high tech. Yeah, make are. a nuclear. If they came here, device. they're far more advanced than us. <laughs> <laughs> they found us before we found them. Maybe the dolphins are aliens. <laughs> Maybe they, all the creatures out in the sea are aliens. Well, you never know. You the know? dolphins are quite intelligent. I understand. The, the whales, the dolphins, all yeah. the mammals. Yeah. All the mammals in the sea. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's interesting to muse about the whole thing. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> How'd you enjoy the sunrise this morning? Oh, it was glorious. Oh, my. No clouds, but the yeah, color. Yeah, there was pink in the sky, nice? and the ocean reflected pink, and it was just out of this world. It was beautiful. Oh, boy. Were you out here for sunrise, Lori? No, by no. 8 o'clock I was here. That's eight. not too bad. Sweet. <laughs> not too bad. And then I had the sun peeking through the trees with the rainbow rays spreading off from Oh, the, you got oh. the rainbow. Uh, well, not rainbow, but I call them rainbow rays because when the sun comes through the trees, a tiny little slot, it breaks up the... Oh, okay, right. Just like a rainbow. And, and all the little rays that shoot out are all colored to the rainbow. Gotcha. It's really beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> rainbow rays or not, it's beautiful out here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Delmore take it. Wiggins is the is it? Best, Say that best one more time beach. for everybody. Delnor Wiggins is the best beach. There you go. Anywhere, <laughs> by far. In the That's whole a fact. World. In the whole world. <laughs> the it's, best place. It is. It's I called, mean, you know what we call it? You know what I call it? What do you call it? Beach therapy. Beach therapy. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That's everybody's getting their beach therapy. How can you not feel great when you come here? There's no way. Just you can. I mean, this is a, if you're not feeling good, this is the best place to come. Best you know, place if you get, to come. Having Anybody some problems. Out yeah. Anybody out there? I'm telling you, just from my own experience, come here and you will feel better. Absolutely. Well, that's because there's serotonin. The serotonin. In the that's right. It makes everybody happy. It's Even the crabbiest old fart will get happy out here at the <laughs> beach. <laughs> Are you talking about yourself? Yep. Oh, I see. That's me, the crabby old fart. <laughs> I don't believe it. You're very cheerful. Oh, I can be crabby. Very cheerful. I can be crabby. Get between me and my steak. <laughs> You're way past crabby now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm high as a, off. I'm that high as a kite from the serotonin ago. now. <laughs> Seeing the dolphins. Had a great beach walk. Saw lots of neat things That's out here. That's great about the dolphin family. Boy. Yeah. 
The whole family, huh? Yep. I There's one it. down, a little baby down to the south of us. He got bit by a shark. He got, oh. and he survived. No. He's got some scars all over. Yeah, so it's it's nice that he survived. Yeah. How did you know he has scars I've seen, on him? Well, I've seen pictures of him. Oh, really? Yep, they've named him. Oh. One of the boats. He always comes up to one of the tour boats. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, he's doing fine. Oh, that's I mean, good. But those adult dolphins, they can kill a shark. Yeah, I that's mean, they what I was can, just going to say. They'll they, just ram them until they, they kill them. They stove them in with their nose, yep. apparently. They Especially just keep the ramming. mama. Yep. If the mama got a hold of yeah. the shark. <laughs> and I, I think this, this little guy, I, there wasn't a mama around, obviously, because yeah, they would have killed that shark. Yeah, the mama would have gotten him. There was sure. a shark, a dolphin attacked a shark up here a couple months ago. There was just, all you could see, though, was the blood out in the water. Yeah. But, yeah. They've got good defense. They caught they, a big shark up been, at the end, and yeah, somebody been, said they saw one or something by yeah, satellite. Up at the north end, that's, lurking around yeah, they here. Catch, take, yeah, there's a great white out in the Gulf, but that's they're tracking it. Huh. Yeah, it's made its way all the way down, you know, from the Atlantic and back around and You're into kidding. the Gulf. Yeah, yeah, they've been imagine. tracking it all around. Did it go through this uh, the Panama Canal? <laughs> Not yet. Did it go through the lot? Oh. I have to pay a yeah. fee for I got, that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't want to break, I don't want to break Roy's chair when I get yeah, up and shark, lean on it. The shark would have to get together a fee for to go through the canal. There you go. That's yeah. expensive to go through that canal. Yeah. Well, it depends on your tonnage. I suppose they <laughs> weigh the shark somehow. Around. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Well, besides our enjoy the journey, you got any wisdom for us? Oh, well, there's always wisdom, and that that's, is that uh, you should just enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> we know that. But, you know, it's good to remind people. People forget to enjoy the journey. Well, this journey is so glorious. you got to look on the brighter side of the journey and, and forget the... Um, the uh, dregs of the journey. There you go. They're not relevant. And there you, you go. Just enjoy the wonderful, fabulous journey. Absolutely. Yep. If you remember the good, you forget the bad. Is That's that right. How it works? That's if, right. If yeah. you get a flat tire, you put on the spare. Roy has had to give you a little inspiration, Lori, <laughs> hasn't he? He's I mean, he inspires so everybody. So much. Yesterday we were out here, and Jennifer Ann was out here, and she had her phone, and so Roy got to actually see the live feed. And people were sending them hearts, sending them love. Yeah. Uh, is that your Sorry. husband saying yeah, he sees you on Facebook? It was. I'm here again. Is he watching you? Him. Oh! <laughs> I couldn't answer. It would be too Well, live on Facebook, <laughs> she hung up on her husband. If he's watching. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, honey. Sorry. I'll call that's, right back. that's pretty funny. <laughs> he's calling to tell you he sees you. <laughs> hung up on him. Oh, that is too funny. That is hysterical. And how many people are watching? Oh my gosh. Oh, right now, just a few, couple hundred. 10,000 10, people are watching you uh, hang up on your husband. Uh, yesterday, I think we 8,000 or 9,000 watched. I don't know. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. That's something, isn't it, Roy? Yeah, it really is. They watch because of you. I don't know. I, I don't be, think I so. I wouldn't be Rob, really. I wouldn't be You wouldn't. That's right, Lori. If you, it wasn't for seeing... Delmar Wiggins from Rob there's, showing it. And there's a lot of people you. like that yeah. that come to the beach because they see these feeds. I yeah, it's just amazing. Quite, this is quite a service he does. Uh, it's amazing. I think they owe me some money here. I think the state of Florida owes me some money. <laughs> it's amazing. That's I mean, we, I know for a fact yeah. we brought a lot of people down here, Roy. I know people have moved down here after, you know, watching us. Is that right? We've been carrying on for a couple of years now yeah. Yeah. out here. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> but I know it changes a lot of people's lives. It does. Do. Oh, and the I, things that Roy says, I mean. Uh, what, what? I don't say anything unique. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. You do. Yeah, you do. It doesn't matter. It's not unique. It's just instilling. It's inspiration. <laughs> it's inspiration. Yes. Coming from somebody who's very experienced with life. Yeah. Well, I've been down the road a piece. Yeah, I've had a... Down the road, a few once bumps or twice. in the road, but no we big all deal. Those bumps. Yeah, the heck with the bumps. It's how you deal with the bumps. Yeah, and that's what people like to hear. How you deal with yeah. everybody's. And also the ne the thing you got to do when you're going is to avoid the bumps. <laughs> Try <laughs> Not, to go around them. Yeah, so that's that's important too, and, and you can do that with a little bit of uh, circumspect. Is uh, to be aware of the bumps and avoid the bumps. Yeah, that works out quite Always well. Always drive with your lights on. So you see them. Sometimes we turn our lights off, our headlights off, and we don't see or the bumps. Or fall asleep at the wheel. We don't see the bumps. 
Yeah. They sneak up on us. So just be, be enjoy the journey down the road and avoid the bumps. If you hit a few, what the heck, uh, keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Enjoy that journey. <laughs> yeah. And live uh, accordingly. Act accordingly. That's the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Act That's right. accordingly. Not only knowing what you should be doing, but acting doing accordingly. As my right. dear old mom always told us when we were kids. Don't just give free advice. We'd say, I know, mom, I know, mom. And she said, well, act accordingly. You got that right. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to head. I parked all the way down to the end in Area 1, the first parking lot there. So I got to get moving down the beach. It is awesome chatting with you, Roy. Oh, it, was it was so fun you. seeing Lori here. Well, yeah. where did she go? Now she's gone. Oh, she's on the phone with her husband over there. Lori, I'll see you. How long are you down for? How? Till Thursday. Till Thursday? All right, I'll try to get out here. Come and swim with us, Rob. Today's the day. I got to get moving. I got to get. Yeah. I, oh, I already went swimming earlier. Darn it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> All right, Roy. I'll see you later. Take care. Tally ho. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning here in paradise. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Thanks for joining. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to take some time, check out all of my photos and videos. I know you're going to find something you like. When you do, be sure to hit the like button, and more importantly than liking, hit share. Let's spread the word about Southwest Florida Television. We're over 19,000 followers here, strong. Let's get that number up to 20,000. I'm gonna give you one last look at the water here. Beautiful, beautiful clear water this morning. I think there's still a few parking spots left. Yesterday by 10 o'clock, the parking lot was closed. It's all filled up. So you want to get here early. Picture perfect, isn't it? Well, happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it might be, whatever part of the world you're watching from. Again, have a great day and God bless. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stanley.